Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to Land Yacht Garage. And uh, this video is going to be an August subscriber update. Uh, right now, I'm in the process of filming putting this engine in. Uh, you guys will have to stay tuned for next week's video. But uh, I figured I'd do a quick subscriber update. I'm trying to get ahead on videos because um, I'm starting school in probably three, four weeks. Maybe. Um, so yeah. I just wanted to try to get ahead on video. So let me go ahead and start with the subscriber update. Um, last time you guys... This will be a little sneak peek again for next video. Last time you... Last video you guys seen was me doing the toe dolly. This and the video before that, which just published yesterday for me, was me tearing down this engine. Um... I ended up, I found a fuel rail, um, I'm going tomorrow more than likely to pick it up, um, painted it up, do not use VHT engine paint, it absolutely sucks and is like water, so this will hopefully be going in today or tomorrow, um, I have decided to do a 4 inch lift on this, and do 37s or maybe 40s, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so here is, I just got the motor mounts in and everything, uh, yeah, not much else to really show you guys on this. Um, what else is there to update you guys on? Um, I got into it a little bit last video about the guy with the Bronco, got my collection of dry shafts apparently. Uh, he's being a dirt ball still, so, got these 35s for free, um, uh, like I said, this guy, this will be a very short subscriber update, yep, 35, 12, 50, 20s for free, so, selling these on Marketplace, obviously, next steps also is gonna be, this will probably be a couple of videos from now. I gotta get this bed fixed up and done. Hole underneath painted, bed rotted bed rails uh, fixed and everything so then this can go on. Um, the bull nose um, ran 14 O's of the drag strip. We got the rear end welded. Um, not much has changed with it. I think this winter it is going to go majorly under the knife if I can find a uh, two-wheel drive front end. Shave about five to seven hundred pounds off of it. Do smaller tires. Do an F-150 conversion. And I also want to pull the whole interior out of it. And do sound dampening. And fix the leak. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I want to do the same thing I did to my truck on this. Because, like, this doesn't even have the padding here. So, at least if uh, that was sound dampened in the doors and roof, everything, this truck would be dead silent. So, yeah. There's the update on that. Um... Maybe winter project. I'm not sure. It depends on all parts availability and stuff. Um, like I said, not much. Um, the Bronco tops over there. I'm trying to sell it. I listed it for a thousand bucks. Scrap pile. Got to get rid of at some point. Uh, tow dolly is down here. Um, I'm gonna put it right there, but I gotta get my engine hoist out first. This cab, I've pretty much got all the valuable stuff off of. I just have to, well, grab that dome light, the interior, the uh, chrome trim. Uh, I need that shifter lever off of it, and this cab will be going to scrap. 
because it's sat down here for two months now and I've actually used a lot of parts of it. I've pretty much gutted all the interior trim and everything from my truck. Uh, like I said, this, pl I said it in the last video, this plow is going to my neighbor in exchange for welding the axle on the tow dolly. This plow I'm still trying to sell. Who knows, if I get another OBS, it might go on it. Um, I'm not really sure. This is 100% set up for an OBS 150. And I have the headgear mounting plates there. Got to grab the engine hoist. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the Bronco. I think, because like I said, not much else. Still got lawnmowers up there. I guess I can show you guys those. Um, this is pretty much all I have left for mowers. Well, other than that, kind of camouflage. That's got to go to scrap at some point, too. Snowblower. Haven't used it in... Well, I've had it for four years. Four or five years. We used it one winter, and that was it. This Husky 2019 is a ginormous piece of shit. Uh, blew up the transmission, fixed it, snapped the PTO engagement for the blades. Uh, did that, replaced that, and then the motor ended up messing up, blowing up. And here it sits. It maybe has 40 hours on it. Somewhere right here. my old John Deere. This thing is a 2008 and it's been in my family since it was brand new. It has, I, I can't even remember, I think it has 500 and something hours on it. Um, I haven't used it. The last time I had it firing off, the last time I got it in 2019 from a relative in 2019 and then I broke it mid 2019 it sat until August of 2020 it sat because the ignition switch broke and then it sat again until January of 2021 I can't remember yeah, it sat again because of fuel pump or something stupid. I can't remember. But anyway, no, I remember now. August of 2020, I got it running, put a new key switch in it. Then the belt fell off and I couldn't get the belt back on it for the longest time. And then 20, January 2021, when uh, it was my great grandfather's in January 2021, he ended up passing away. So I got this thing running again. Drove it around the yard once, parked it again until, let's see, that was January 2021. Jan, uh, like, sometime in 2022, I just had it firing off and starting fluid, and it sat since. So, yeah. I haven't really rode it since 2019. Uh, that might be a summer project. Whoa. Hello, buddy. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. That might be a little project for me. I did, it, did, it just needs a fuel pump. And then it can be back up and going again. This was kind of, uh, this section was kind of the collect all when that storage shelter over there collapsed. Uh, so I kind of just threw all the things that didn't have to be undercover over here. Now let me show you guys where the Bronco is. And now, after quite a long walk, I'm almost to the Bronco. So, these are my trails. Uh, well, the main trail. We take vehicles out here. I used to ride lawnmowers out here. Trails go up that way, around, around that way, way out there. Uh, we've kind of made a homemade shooting range out there, too. Here's the Bronco, kind of shoved off in the side. Um, this thing, 
is going. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, I had a bunch of people, well, before it got as bad as I thought it was, I had a bunch of people wanting it for two grand or 2500 And then, like, the washers for the body mount brought it off. And I listed it for a thousand bucks, which it's well worth that. They have good BFGs, uh, American Racing Wheels, uh, C4 transmission, I believe an MP205 transfer case, a Ford 9 inch, a 5 0, uh, racing harness, well, racing seat belts, uh, the beefy rear bumper, and I haven't had no serious people. Um, the guy is still being a douche, and that's why it is out here. Um, quad shock setup and everything, but it is just like I said, the body's falling off. Uh, I know I got into that last video and everything, um, and now it's like really bad. Like, I don't even want to drive it again, uh, which obviously I'm gonna have to, uh, but yeah. So, I really wanted to restore it, which I'm not sure if I can't sell it. I'm probably going to end up parting it. Um, I don't want to. Obviously, I'd rather just cash out on the thing. But there's not very much good parts on it that would make it, me, make it worth my while to part it. I mean... It's a lot of work to part out a truck, especially a rusty one. So, whatever. Um, I guess if anybody watching this video wants it for a thousand bucks, um, it does run and drive. It could be a good mud truck with uh, body mount washers and something up here. Uh, yeah. For the front cab mounts because the wood is just bending the floor uh the other side's holding up fine because i went all the way through this side's not so i'm not sure i might try to fix that before i sell it fully sell it um it has recently started a cutting out problem so i'm not sure what that's about but anyway um i know that this video was kind of shitty um and not very, I don't know, it just not much uh, for a subscriber update. There was way more updates in last video, well, last month's, but I figured I'd want to get one out this month, and, uh, and like I said, I'm trying to get ahead on videos since I'm starting school back, and in other news, uh, today is Friday, the, I don't know, I can't remember what today's date is, it's the Friday, uh, 16th, I think, Monday, I'm getting a puppy, so, I'm gonna be pretty busy with the puppy, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, uh, next week's video will be me putting the motor in my truck possibly getting it running and thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with your friends and i will see you guys in the next one